Hey guys, we are off to work. And by work, I mean shopping and thrifting with our Starbucks water. Motherfucker! Good morning. We are going to look through the purses. Non Longchamp. Calvin Klein. I don't know about Calvin Klein. Actually, this one's kind of cute. I think it's leather. I'm just doing that though. That's no bueno. Yeah, this little perforated coach. Yeah, it's, it's all stained, gross. Seven, six dollars. <laughs> oh, actually, I can use this. Cuteness galore. Look at that. I love the. I thrifted one of these yesterday. I love the orange and pink together. That is so cute. Okay. Danye has been popping lately. Oh, we just had a nice little conversation with Rhubarb Vintage. She's so sweet. I always love running into her. Uh, oh, I was looking this up. I don't know if I should get it. It's a Kipling. They're super expensive. I think they're like $100. And it comes complete with the monkey. So, but I don't know. I don't really have luck with Kipling, to be honest. Gucci sunglasses finally sold. I'm on the hunt for some crystals. I want crystals to feel better about myself. Some, I need some rose quartz and some, I don't know, that money crystal, I forgot what it's called. That's so cute, that little coach bag. It's definitely older. You can tell by the paperwork that it comes with. Hey, slut bombs, it's Miss Philly. We are thrifting. This is only our third thrift store. <laughs> it's only 11 o'clock. We started at 10. But I wanted to show you a few things that we got so far. Better day than yesterday, for sure. Yesterday was kind of uh, bunk as funk. Okay, this I need because I have some of these that we th uh, thrifted before. This Dove Men Plus Care. So we're going to put some in that. And then we have this. Daniel Leather. I just could not resist the orange and the pink together. And you could clip it on your purse. We thrifted something similar yesterday. I love this so much. It looks so cute. Look at that. And it has card slots on the back. And then you like your ID here. And then you have a zip compartment to put things in. And then we picked up this, which is a Kipling backpack. I normally wouldn't pick this up, but for the price, I had to. Pretty much it was uh, $9.50, less $2 off. Kipling is an expensive brand. They sell it at the Bay. Probably retail for $150. Um, it's in great condition, and it came with the monkeys. So, And it has monkeys all over it. 
it has a water bottle holder here on both sides then you flap it open and you have a zip compartment on the front here and then you could put a at least a 15 inch laptop in here or great for travel very cute i don't know i usually don't pick kipling up but for that price i kind of had to last but certainly not least we picked up this and we paid a lot for it <laughs> It was an FF from Salvation Army, so it ended up being $80. I couldn't use a coupon on it. The only wear on it is just some wear on the bezel because the bezel is silver. So I guess whenever you put it in and out of a case, it, you know, gets scuffed. So there's a little bit of, um, you know, wear right there. And it's not like a chip or anything. It's just the bezel, um, like, wearing. Like, it's losing its uh, color. <laughs> But I picked it up for this price because it is the bigger tablet. It does sell online refurbished anywhere between 220 and 300 plus tax. So I've had luck with these before, these Samsung tablets. You have to be careful because there's some Samsung tablets that are um, like really big, like entry level. They only sell for $110. The good ones are different. Um, this is a bigger screen. It has one gigabyte. Uh, hold on, where's the settings? Uh, about the tablet. So there's the information about the tablet. It is Galaxy Tab A, uh, model is SMP550. Battery information, what else? Trying to see what else information we have about this. Um, so storage is 10.2 gigabytes are free. It's fairly fast too, so that that's what I love about it. Um, okay, so there. Okay, it's ten point two gig. I think it's fifty. I think this is a sixteen gigabyte model because there's three gigabytes taken up with audio. Oh, okay. Probably, I paid 80, so I'm probably going to sell this for like 150. I feel like it's worth it. Oh, it's supposed to come with a stylus pen, but it doesn't have one. That's okay. Actually, it even might have a memory card to put in here <sighs> to add for storage. I'm trying to find a case for it at Valley Village because. Um, it'll sell better with a case. If I invest like another like $5 in a case, I feel like it'll... Can you send one more piece? Fuck, Daniel. Always disturbing me, like, annoying. This $1.99. All the other ones are $1.99. Mm -hmm. And it was from mm -hmm. this, uh, and I know they're just pricing it back because if obviously it's just give it $1.99. And I have a customer to get them. No. All we have to go to self checkout. Oh. Steal rhubarb vintage's points? <laughs> you heard that, rhubarb vintage? Daniel wants to steal your points. If anything, you should steal his points. I'll give you his phone number. Don't. <laughs> Actually, you'd want to steal my points. I have almost three hundred dollars to use as value. So I'm a pimp, motherfucker. I'm a pimp, cocksucker. You made me lose my count. <laughs> really? I literally messed it up. I can't help that your special needs. You can't say that. I didn't say the other word. Any words canceled. <laughs> And it's true, special needs people have a hard time counting. 
depending on their special neediness. Oh some people might not be able to use their hands. Some people might have something wrong, like cognitively. I'm saying in a polite, professional manner. I don't give a fuck about people in cancel culture. Oops. Hi, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. And now you have proof I'm a fat bitch ordering McDonald's. Oh my god. It was then she realized that she hated the world and everything in it. I can't tell you my secret. I know your secret. Everybody knows your secret. It's so obvious, Daniel, what your secret is. What? <laughs> Somebody. I don't know. What's your secret? Hey ho bags, we're back today. Well, I picked these up at the optometrist. These are Maui Gems. I actually purchased these sunglasses way back before I had my LASIK eye surgery. So this would have been 2000, I think like 16. 16 or 15. So these are like, like really, really, not really, but I've had them for a while. But the funny thing is I've never used them ever. I think I maybe used them twice but maui gyms super expensive comes with a dust bag i think they retail for like 300 dollars, maybe more but what i did was see look at the frame there's no wear on the frame no um rubbing of the label off there's no like you know how sometimes when you get glasses like this gets very like faded or something then it becomes like a white almost or like a light film none of that um no scratches whatsoever so what I did was I, I had a prescription in these, but number one, I never used them much before I had LASIK. And then when I had LASIK, I couldn't use them because they had a prescription in them. Anyway, these are the Lani Maui gems made in Italy. Not a single scratch on the lenses because they were just replaced brand new lenses. It cost me $20. So the fuck? why is Daniel back? Come on, girl. I'll take my car back. Why? Because they can drive here and sit here. True. We're going to be cooking for a while, so why not? Who not? I found these Woolrich ladies' pants last minute 90s. Oh, cool. You like them? I do. Actually, I don't. Decent size, I would say. They say five to six. Wait, ladies. That's a hot bitch ladies size. Ladies six for 90. That's a hot bitch size. <laughs> Five to six. Is that it? That's all you're showing? Yeah. Remember, I don't sell anything. Wait, not good. Anybody want to buy Daniel? He's for sale. <laughs> How much? I'd say minimum. Minimum $500 an hour. 500 an hour? That's pretty good. I think so. I think it's fair. I'd consider. Anybody want to bid on Daniel? $500 starting Going bid? Going once. You got the blonde hair and the Going wax skin. <laughs> blonde hair and a wax skin. <laughs> I'm up for auction. Hey, sweat bombs. We're back. Okay. Sorry, we're interrupted by Daniel. Always interrupting us. <laughs> anyway, I want to show you a few other things that we thrifted. Okay. I was showing you guys this, the sunglasses. Excuse me. Okay, this I found at a Salvation Army. Okay, I have a story about this, guys. So this is a Gucci. I knew by the case, because we thrifted two other ones, that this was Gucci, I could tell. It came, oh, I love the contrasting purple and yellow. It came with a dust bag. So this was in a container, like a bin full of other sunglasses and sunglass cases, and they were all $1.99. This one did not have anything on it. It was just placed in there. So I was like, okay, this is going to be $1.99 too. I brought it up to the, to the counter, and then she's like, I have to get this price. She goes to the back, they're like $4.99. I was like, no, 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 no. Pump the brakes. Wait a damn minute. I, I went, actually, I'm like, I went, walked a minute th that way and then I brought the container I'm like look at all these cases they're a dollar 99 each this should be a dollar 99 and then she, and then she, I'm like call the manager the manager came she's like and the manager just looked bothered and she was just like oh just give it to her for a dollar 99 but she's doing me a favor I actually like that manager but she looked like she might have been I don't know busy having to walk from the back to the front you know with a dealing with a customer I get it I get it but at the same time 
This ain't no stole. Yes, you want to make money, but let's be real. I'm going with facts. I could have easily taken a sticker off of another thing and put it on here if I wanted to, but no. I thought I'd be fair. I thought I'd bring it up. You can't even be fair with these thrift stores anymore. Next time, I'm just going to do that. Next time, I'm just going to take one of the stickers and put it on here because they're trying to rip you off. If this was more than, and you thought that it was something because it's Gucci, then you should have caught it the first time around and not try to reprice it later on for more when everything else in the bin is $1.99. Anyway, that is my mother effing point. So we have like three or four Gucci cases now, but these are so luxe. I feel like they're just such cute little cases. Like, can we repurpose them into small little clutches, but bling them up so that they don't look welfare? Because I, sometimes I feel like when you repurpose things, like not scrunchies, but like if you try to make like a uh, cosmetic case into an actual bag, that it just ends up looking welfare and food stamps, nothing wrong with food, welfare and food stamps. I'm just using it as a descriptive purpose, but I don't know, it's just so luxurious. I don't know guys, what just, I don't know. Maybe I can repurpose it, drill a couple of holes here, have a little handle so that you can make it into like a little clutch. Maybe just put like on a chain and make it into like a Gucci um, little clutch. It's so cute. Anyway, we got that. We got a pack of gloves. I thought these were a deal. For 50 gloves, they are $4. No, wait, was it $4? Yeah, $4. <laughs> I told Daniel that I sometimes use these as condoms, not in a way where you can get a sexually transmitted disease. I'm just saying, we'll just leave it at that, okay? Um, okay, so this was cute. Actually, Daniel spotted these. I didn't, I, I hadn't gone to the showcase yet, but okay, so we have a coach leather backpack. It is so cute. Red, the leather is really good. It's actually really good condition too. Like surprisingly good condition. There's no wear on the corners, not on the glazing, not on the handles came complete with a coach tag it says coach right there drawstring and button snap closure and inside is very clean as well there's like like look there's like it's almost like it hasn't been used um i don't really have luck with backpacks though but i don't know i i wanted to get it because it was a good deal i guess it was how much was this it was $50 less 20% off. I basically paid $88 for this and the next bag that I'm going to show you. I don't know. I guess, I, I don't know. I feel like there's just so much inflation and things are going up in price that if I get something that's a little bit more expensive and pay up for it a bit, that I'm still going to grab it because eventually it'll sell. It might sit for a year. It might sit for two years. I don't know. But in two years, Coach backpacks are going to be worth more money. So regardless, and I like this leather. It doesn't look like it scratches easily. But yeah, very cute. Two exterior pockets. Uh, yeah. And then the last bag we got, I'm actually excited for this. And it's it's a brand that I don't even like that much and doesn't have good resale value. But this bag just looks like it would have good resale value based on the style, the quality, the condition. And yeah, anyway, it's Kate Spade. Oh my God. <sighs> Why is it different? Well, it's color block. You have this really nice, like leather um it's smooth leather but it's almost like it's coated with something so it doesn't seem like it's going to scratch easily so it's like a coated smooth leather and then you have the pop of pink on the handles and then a pop of pink on the interior i think this is a new bag like it hasn't been used because it came complete with like the booklet and shit um and it's a little bit dusty but look at that beautiful interior guys pink oh my god oh and i feel like it's I feel like that it's not a factory outlet bag because it just the quality of it is so nice like usually when it's factory outlet they cheap out on the hardware but you can't even like stick your fingernail behind here so i feel like they did put a lot more quality and quality into this product even like the the stamping inside like it's stamped on in gold, gold foiling it is clean af the oh my god look oh look at this and even like the handle just looks thicker look at that glazing and then it's pink on the underside and then black. And then 
Yeah. I wonder if this is one of her bags where she coats it 20, full, uh, 20 or 18 karat gold. Because I know on some of her gold hardware, she does that. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the bags that she does that for. But yeah, such good quality, such good condition. I've had, I haven't like really liked a case spade bag in a while like this one. Um, anyway, yeah, that's the last thing that we got. So that caps off our week of thrifting. It is Friday today. This is probably gonna go up on Saturday. So yeah, uh, the week started out slow. Ooh, you and yesterday was kind of like, I don't know, a welfare haul. Today was a better haul, I feel like. And we're going to do it all over again next week. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, I ran into it. Like I said, I ran into Rhubarb Vintage. And she's like, oh my god, I saw your video. And I could totally relate and understand. When I was talking about how, like, the world's changed. Life just seems quicker. I haven't been motivated or very um, determined to do anything rather than work. And, you know, but uh, I'm glad some people can relate. And I'm, the, I'm not alone. Because, like, sometimes when you... When you feel that way and you do feel alone that you don't maybe someone else isn't going through it then you feel alone right but if you have other people who can relate and they understand what you're going through then you don't feel as isolated and bad about it i guess anyway that's it for the video i hope you guys are doing well i hope you have a great weekend don't forget to try and be positive productive and progressive keep manifesting those dreams because they will come true I promise not all of my dreams have come true, but you know a bitch be manifesting still. Manifestation. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. Bye.